This video will cover standard traceability functions such as data acquisition, marking data matrix, serial numbers, and date codes. Use the edit file menu to create a new file, edit a previous file, or in this case open an existing file. The basic file's already been created. I'm gonna go through a few functions and key elements in the setup. So in our first block, we want to choose a function, var in, in order to get data from a scan document. I'm gonna use a scanner with a keyboard wedge, but RS-232 is also possible. We'll put the information in variable zero and we'll scan for information every time. In this field we can add our prompt, scan now, in our second block we're just going to mark a Gravitech logo. In our third block, we're going to mark a data matrix code linked to the information from the variable in. So we want to click in the text area, choose the third menu, and simply select variable zero. Our fourth block is going to be radial aligned. In our fifth block, we want to mark the serial number, so we can add that here, in this case K0. Then in our sixth block, we want to add a date code, come to this third menu, do a long hold, we can do month. Day, and two-digit year. And then in our final block, we're going to mark the same information from our initial variable in, and I've already pre-selected that. We can adjust the location as well in this block. And in this menu, in the simulation, we can see the information. So we have our Gravitech logo, radial line mark, data matrix code, serial number one, marked on today's date, and marked by John in this case. And we can save that. Position the tag beneath the marking head, locking it into place, and then lower the marking head until it's three millimeters above the part.